The 2018-19 Air Force hockey team had a remarkable season, unlike any other in recent Falcon history. This team was used to spending its postseason running deep into the Atlantic Hockey Tournament and had even been to the Elite Eight level of the NCAA tourney the past two campaigns. Those previous three years, Air Force teams had outscored their opponents by an average of 30 goals each season, but this time the tables were turned. While the defense remained stingy, goal scoring didn't come as easily as in the past. Despite those struggles, this season again had plenty of highlights. They get it in the high slot to Cook, over in the near circle to Fino, his shot, save, rebound, put back, goal! Air Force, bang, bang, play on an Air Force power play goal. Here's Walker Summer coming in for Air Force, one on one, snipes it home! Walker Summer gives Air Force a one nothing lead. What a nice play by Walker Summer. He drifts and he gets it to Fino, who gets it to Hay. To Fino, who winds, shoots, and scores! Bingo! Sent in by Bentley's Matt Lombardozzi. Behind the net, a feed right out front. Bang, bang, play, shot, save, LaRock. No rebound. Down low to Hay. Hay back to Summer for a shot. And tucked in. Goal! Air Force Nets Geisler. That's a double check by Evan Geisler, the goose. Gets his third of the season. Power play goal. Finally taken out of harm's way by Geisler. Pass ahead. Here's Trevor Stone's got a mini breakaway. Comes in, shoots, save. Goal! Air Force. What a great pass by Evan Geisler coming through the neutral zone right on the tape of Trevor Stone. And nobody on this team has a shot like Trevor Stone coming in like that. The junior from Pleasant Plains, Illinois. Goal number four on the season. That's a good omen. Benji wins the draw, leads to a shot, and a big time save. Billy Christopoulos. Cookie whistles it down low to Geisler, comes out from behind the net, gets it to Haig. The one timer! Bingo! Kyle Haig, power play goal. Power play goal, great shot by Kyle Higgs. Jaeger, and he can't quite get to it. His stick was tied up. Then Joe Tyran cashes in. A great feed from the point. Tyran flashed in. Top shelf goal, Joe Tyran. Three across at the blue line. A shot from the top of the circle by Tyran. Blocked right off his stick. Picked up. A shot deflected out front. Goal, Air Force. That may have been Fino. A long pass finds a man at the blue line. Boy, it looked like outside it's the trailer and it leads to a shot to save out front not by Christopoulos that save was by Dan Bailey Giles breaks, breaks his stick trying to pick it up and it's picked up by Durbin Durbin comes in he shoots and he scores five goal Karen Durbin goal Air Force boy some guys have a knack for scoring goals Puck taken away the Colonials going the other way with a two on two rush up here and a shot Billy Christopoulos gets a glove on it defeats Maynard at the blue line Slot, Mirages tees it up, sends one down the slot, block never got in, it's loose, and a scramble out front, and the Falcons somehow find a way to poke it in. Finally, Kyle Haig skates it down, he gets it to Pulver. Falcons got a two on one, short handed, Pulver comes in, gets across to Haig, who buries it in the back of the net, a shorty and a two nothing Air Force lead. Air Force's second short handed goal of the season, both by Kyle Hay. Hay gets his team leading 12th goal of the season. Bailey, top of the far circle, back to Cook, high slot. Down the slot, tip in front, goal! Air Force. Boy, Matt Cook high at the center point, shoots the puck right down through some traffic, and senior Matt Cook is gonna get that goal. Puck is in the Crusaders' end. There's a feed out front, bingo! Goal, Air Force. That was Joe Tyram. On the back wall, Falcons maneuver with the puck there. They get to Bailey in the circle. Hit shot. Get through. Goal. Air Force. Dan Bailey. Bingo. The most memorable wins of the season would undoubtedly be those against Service Academy rival Army. The Falcons swept the Black Knights in West Point in November, then skated to a pair of ties on the home ice in January. An undefeated record, always good for bragging rights down the road. Air Force finished the season with a 16-15-5 overall record, clinching a winning season for the fourth consecutive time and the twelfth time in the last 13 years. Once again, this team earned a first round bye in the Atlantic Hockey Tournament and they hosted a quarterfinal series for the 11th time in 13 years in Atlantic Hockey. All of those accomplishments came despite the goal scoring struggles, which pointed to the skill and precision on defense. 
Air Force led the nation in penalty kill at 88.9%, the second time in the last three years the Falcons had led the nation in PK. As usual, one big reason for the success behind the blue line was in the pipes. Senior goaltender Billy Christopoulos was named first team All-Atlantic Hockey. He started 32 games this season, holding opponents to a 2.24 goals against average with a 9.14 saves percentage, the best marks in the conference. He finished his career ranked third in school history in goals against average at 2.29, fourth in saves percentage at 9.13, and fifth in shutouts with eight. Seven seniors make up the class of 2019, along with Christopoulos, Dan Bailey, Evan Giesler, Kyle Hake, Matt Cook, Evan Fino, and Matt Saratori. Their class tied the school record with 86 career wins, helping lead the Falcons to the 2017 and 2018 Atlantic Hockey Conference Championships. It is the only class to win two NCAA tournament games and appear in two NCAA Elite Eights. The group won three Pikes Peak trophies, helped earn the Academy's first ever Icebreaker Championship, and went 8-3-3 three, and three in their time against Service Academy rival Army. All of them finished their careers well ahead of the 100 game mark, led by Giesler, who tied the school record having played in 156 total games. While that chapter closes, another begins for next season's team. A young group of Falcons will be charged with regaining the glory and perhaps pushing Air Force to heights yet unseen by Academy Hockey.